Hey y'all, what's up? It's been a while. First of all, before the video starts, look at my new shirt. I'm in love. I haven't sat down to actually film a video in a way over a month, so bear with me for this video, I guess. Also, excuse Ollie if you hear him barking. Yes, I am back home in my family house due to spring break and <laughs> the coronavirus. And I will talk about that in a second because I need to address it. I am here to basically talk about all of the books that I've read since I last made a video. I didn't film all of February and most of March. If y'all didn't know, I went on Twitter to let everyone know that I wasn't going to be posting consistently for a while um, because I would normally do two videos a week and <laughs> I didn't post for a whole month. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to still post consistently or not um, because of the coronavirus now. Um, I kind of have more downtime, I guess, uh, because all of my classes will be online now. About the coronavirus so I'm actually I want I don't want to say quarantined because I haven't been out anywhere and I'm not infected or anything but I have to basically be on house arrest but like of my own will because I have an autoimmune disorder and I'm immunocompromised so I am very susceptible to the coronavirus studies have shown and um, news has shown scientists have shown that um the coronavirus only is really dangerous for uh, the elderly and people who are immunocompromised so i am one of them so i have been advised to stay in my home for as long as possible so i don't know when i'm going to be able to go back to my college town i will i don't know when i'm able to get the books that I have there. I don't know when I'm able to get my filming equipment. I'm not using any filming equipment at the moment. This is natural lighting, which I haven't used in a very long time. I have been advised to stay at home because I am very, very susceptible to any kind of sickness. Anyway, enough about that. So uh, I hope everyone's staying safe though and everyone's good to go. As for what I'm currently reading, I'm currently reading two things. Um, I've already read some books in March, which is a good thing. I've read a physical book in March <laughs> yay me um you'll see later on this video i did not read any physical books in february so yeah um i got crescent city earlier this month and plan to read it later tonight i am um maybe 50 pages into the podex by elizabeth acevedo i'm listening to the audiobook for this for a multicultural literature class actually anyway for my february wrap-up um it's kind of going to be short even though I did read 12 books, most of them were parts of a series, actually. I completed many a series in um, February. I read 12 books. Um, I don't have any of them physically on me. The books that I do own physically are back at my apartment, which I am not currently in. So, yeah. I listened to 11 out of the 12 so 11 out of the 12 were audiobooks, and one was an ebook. First, we're going to talk about the Pucked series by Helena Hunting. This series was recommended to me by Brie from In Love and Words. Um, I love Brie. Please go check out her channel linked down below. She also recommended another series that I'm going to be talking about later in this video. So she is totally on her game for recommending series, and specifically Audible Escape because both of these series are on Audible Escape. But anyway, the Puck series by Helena Hunting. This is a hockey romance series, the first book being Pucked. And the first one is about Violet and Alex. Violet's stepfather is on a hockey team, a national hockey team. And uh, one day she meets Alex, who is the captain of the hockey team. And it's their romance. It's really funny. I really enjoyed it. I gave the first book 4.5 out of 5 stars. Second book is Pucked Up. This one's about Miller and Sunny, and Miller is Violet from the first book's stepbrother, and Sunny is actually the sister to Alex from the first book. I enjoy the romance story some 
what I got really frustrated because Miller or Buck, um, that's his nickname, he puts himself in a lot of sketchy situations. It wasn't really my cup of tea to see him go through all that stuff he could have avoided. I just, I didn't like the uh, social media aspect either in this book. I ended up giving this one two out of five stars. It's not my favorite in the series, but I do love the couple. I just didn't enjoy the plot of this book. And then the third book is Pucked Over. This one's about Lily and Randy. I really enjoyed their story. Lily is the best friend to Sunny from the second book, and Randy is on the hockey team as well. And I really enjoyed their story. Um, it was really fun. That's all I can remember from it. Y'all, I listened to these books a while ago. <laughs> and the last one I'm going to be talking about from the Puck series is Forever Pucked. And this is a continuation story of Violet and Alex from the first book. I really enjoyed this one. Gave this one four stars. Really funny. I really enjoyed it. Um, I listened to two more in the series, but those will be in my March wrap up when March concludes, I guess. I really, really, really love the narrators to this audiobook series. They're really great. Uh, they're all on Audible Escape if you're interested. So thank you so much, Brie, for recommending this series to me. Next series that I read was the Central Park Packed series by Lauren Lane. The first book is Passion on Park Avenue. I read this book with Kendra and Shelby. Um, Kendra from Kendra Loves Books and Shelby from Shelby Taggart Reads. Their channels will be linked down below as well as the live show that we did for this book. They asked me to be a co-host for or a guest host for February's Book Talks After Dark live show that they do. So this whole series is about three women. Each book is about a different woman. It's a, it's a trilogy. Um, their companion contemporary romance books. These women were all seeing this a man who like dies at the beginning of the first book you go to his funeral that's the first scene um one woman was his wife one woman was his girlfriend and one woman was his mistress and uh no one knows that the other one existed at all um until they go to the funeral <laughs> it's a little quirky it's a little funny in how they interact with each other because they end up forming a friendship out of this um, so that was very interesting. The first book is about Naomi, who was his mistress. Her childhood nemesis, Oliver, they have a romance because uh, she decides to move back into the building that her mother used to live in. But her mother has recently passed away and so she moves back to that building and there she sees Oliver and she remembers him being this horrible menace in her life and he does not remember who Naomi is whatsoever. If you want to know my thoughts about it, I had a bunch of thoughts about it, um, a few gripes about it, a few loves about it. Um, I gave this book 3.5 out of 5 stars. The live show is linked down below so if you want to know my in-depth thoughts please go check that out. I ended up continuing on with the series because the next book was on Libby as well. I listened to the first book on Libby and I listened to the second one on Libby. The second one is Love on Lexington Avenue. I also gave this one 3.5 out of 5 stars. This one is about Claire, who was the wife to the man who died. And this is about Scott, who is her contractor, uh, because she decides to redo her house after her husband has passed, because uh, she's sick of the way that it looks. So she hires a contractor, and uh, it's their romance. I really enjoyed it. The uh, main gripe that I had about it is that everything happened way too fast like way too fast so I don't I like when things are dragged out or you know what I mean I like uh time <laughs> um there wasn't a lot of time with them and then the next book the third and final book in the series is Marriage on Madison Avenue I got this one off of Audible because it wasn't on Libby yet because it was a new release and I just wanted to continue and finish the trilogy so uh this one's about Audrey who was the girlfriend to the man who died and this is about her romance with Clark who is her childhood best friend. So this book is friends to lovers and a fake dating because uh, he's like this big bachelor dude and um, he's very well known in New York society. He needs like a fake date. I don't remember, a fake fiance, I think. And Audrey and him decide to fake be engaged and it might 
turn into something real out of all of this. So I really enjoyed that one. I gave it four out of five stars, mainly because I liked Audrey and Clark as a couple more than all the other ones, I think. And I liked that you got to see all the couples in the end and their stories wrap up. The last series that I have to talk about, and then I have two more books to talk about after that, that aren't part of a series. Um, the next series is the new Camelot trilogy by Sierra Simone. This was the other series recommended to me from Brie from In Love and Words. This is basically a retelling of Camelot, but a modern day with the President of the United States um, as the king. First book is American Queen. So this whole series is about Greer and Ash. Ash is the president of the United States and it is also about Embry who is his best friend and vice president of the United States. Um, and it is all of their romance. <laughs> it's very interesting because I haven't read a lot of books about um, bigger couples if you know what I mean. So it's very interesting. Um, this book is very 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 steamy i think anything sierra simone writes is gonna be really steamy so beware going into this book if that's not your cup of tea the second book american prince this one focuses each book focuses solely a little bit more on a specific character so the first one um was specifically focused a little bit more in on greer this one is focusing a little bit more on Embry. the last one american king is focusing a little bit more on ash the last book wrecked me and then didn't wreck me <laughs> for a little bit there also i gave the first book four stars second book three stars and then the third and final book uh 3.5 out of five stars and this was my favorite series it was really promising at the first book but it kind of went a little bit downhill i think it dragged a lot. I didn't think it needed to be three books in my opinion, but I did enjoy my time nevertheless. I really enjoyed these characters and it's very interesting what they go through. So I really enjoyed it. So thank you so much Ree, for another recommendation. Next book is a reread. We have The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I had you read this for my multicultural literature class that I have where you read children's books and young adult books. And I, of course, loved this. I listened to this one on audio. I already own the audiobook. I got, it, I got it off of Audible, I think, like two years ago. And I love every time I listen to it. It's amazing. If you didn't know about The Hate You Give, this is basically a uh, story about our main character named Star, who experiences or witnesses her best friend being shot by a white police officer even though he didn't do anything to get shot. And it's basically her story and her like in her struggle with speaking out or not whether she should or not i really love this book i love the banter i love the family aspect i love how much i got to learn from this book i learned even more reading it for a second time so i love this book a lot and yeah the last book that i have to talk about today it's my only ebook read and that is wild at heart by k.a tucker this book was sent to me by the publisher for um an early copy review i have a reading vlog for it that is my last video it's linked down below i gave this book four stars but i'm kind of thinking more of a three if i'm being honest because it's not memorable to me whatsoever and this is the continuation story to Kala and um, Jonah's story from the Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker, which I gave five out of five stars to and made my top 10 list of 2019. I loved it, but the second book was really boring. It was, it was really boring. I talk about it in my vlog for this book specifically, so please go check that out if you wanna know in-depth thoughts. I just found it very boring. I did enjoy reading about Kala and Jonah because I love Kala and Jonah, but um, I was very bored. Anyways, there you have it. Those are all 12 books that I read in the month of February. Please everyone be safe in the coming weeks. Hopefully I can get around to making some more videos with a little bit of downtime that I have. Uh, let me know down below what you're reading or um, what you've been up to for a while because I haven't really been on booktube and any watching at all because I've been so busy. Please let me know how you're doing and let me know what you're reading. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all soon, hopefully in the next video. Bye.